my archival ink over the top of the weathered white. And what you'll see is it's really good because it really makes it pop. And you don't have to be careful because all you're going to see is a little bit of wetness, and when that dries, it goes away. So it's really it's just another way to combine the products that you probably already have. Mm -hmm. You know, and another way to use your archival inks, but this time on a really dark surface. So that was um, Leaf Breed. I'll show you the brand new garden patina that is gorgeous. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to go over the flower portion of that. And it's that simple. So I'll dry it and that'll be permanent. If you think it's not dark enough after you dry it, you can go back and add a second layer. I'll just give it a quick little blast here. So I can take my garden patina again and just kind of darken the center part. That's super easy. And another way then to use your archival inks with different products. So I think I like that a lot. And you can do the same thing with your sentiment then. Stamp it in glacier white, put on the uh, weathered white embossing powder, and then your archival ink over the top of it. So you can have multi colors all embossed in a different color. Easy, easy way to do it. Putting your spring on top and adding your. Yeah, and yeah, you can put. Yeah, you can do the mica mist over the whole entire thing. The mica sprays over the whole entire thing, and the whole thing would have bling then. You can also just stamp with them. The mist, which is really fun too, and that's what I did on this tag. I just took my um, buttercup, misted it on my craft sheet, put my rubber stamp into it, and then stamped on my tag. So you have actually bling in a pattern. So it's another way to use it. You can also put a little bit down, pick it up with your blending tool, and go through a stencil, and you can also stencil with it. So you have bling in a, in a pattern, or you can have bling, I lost my sample here, um, over the whole entire. So this is here after the tag was done, after the background was done, I just misted the buttercup over the top so you have bling everywhere. Here you have it stamped. So a lot of different ways to use them.